Hi, boys and girls. This is Sally Morse. I'm a district math coach for Henrico County Public Schools. For today's lesson, we will be exploring area and perimeter, which is SOL 4.7. Our I can statement for today is, I can find the perimeter and area of squares and rectangles with and without diagrams. What is perimeter? Perimeter is the distance around a plane figure. It is linear, meaning we can measure it in a line. You can use string to model the perimeter of a figure. When might we want to know perimeter in real life? Perhaps you want to put up a new fence around your backyard, or your teacher asks you to put up the bulletin board border, or maybe you want to make a picture frame. These are all situations where you would need to know the perimeter. To determine the perimeter of a plane figure, we can find the sum by adding the length of each side. So what is the perimeter of the trapezoid? I know that 6 and 6 make 12, and 12 and 8 make 20, and 20 and 5 make 25. The perimeter of this trapezoid is 25 centimeters. This is a regular pentagon. When we have a regular shape or polygon, it means that all the sides are the same length. If the length of one of the sides is six centimeters, what is the perimeter of the pentagon? Well, if I know this side is six centimeters, then I know that all sides are six centimeters, and I can think six plus six plus six plus six plus six, which is 30 centimeters. I could also think about this as six times five is 30 centimeters. To find the perimeter of a square, we must determine the sum of the lengths of each side. This is a square. If the length of one of its sides is four feet, what is the perimeter of the square? Because I know that a square has four congruent sides, that means all sides are the same length. So each side is worth four feet. So I can think four feet plus four feet plus four feet plus four feet for a total perimeter of 16 feet. Let's try a backwards problem. In this case, we don't know what the side length is and we need to figure that out. The total perimeter is 40 inches. Hmm, so the total length around all the sides is 40 inches. I'm wondering what plus itself four times would give me 40. Each side length is 10 inches because 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals 40. To find the perimeter of a rectangle, we must determine the sum of the lengths of each side. This is a rectangle with a length of 8 feet and a width of 3 feet. What is the perimeter of the rectangle? I know that opposite sides of a rectangle are parallel and congruent. So my top side is worth eight feet and my side on the right is worth three feet. I know three and three make six and eight and eight make 16 and 16 and six make 22. So the perimeter is 22 feet. I could also think about this problem at 3 and 8 make 11, and if I double that, 11 plus 11 also gets me 22. Let's try a backwards problem. What's the missing side length of the rectangle? The perimeter is 20 inches. I know that the bottom side is worth 2 inches, so that means the top side is also worth 2 inches. So that's 4 of my 20 inches. So my other missing side length, I need to think itself plus itself equals 16. My missing side length is 8 inches. What is area? Area is the surface included within a plane figure. We measure area in square units. When might we want to know area in real life? Perhaps you want to paint a wall in your bedroom and you would need to find out the area or perhaps you're outside and you're mulching your flower beds. You find that in using area too. Or maybe you wanna lay some new tiles in your bathroom floor. That also requires knowing the area. To determine the area of a square, we can multiply side by side. This is a square. 
If the length of one of its sides is four feet, what is the area of the square? Because squares have all sides that are congruent or the same length, the adjacent side is also four feet. And I know four times four is 16, so my area is 16 square feet. Notice that there's a little two um, next to the abbreviation for feet there. That's because I'm measuring the inside space, which I would measure with squares. If I use little tiles, it would take 16 uh, one foot tiles to cover the inside of this space. Let's try a backwards problem. What is the side length of the square? The area is 64 square inches. Hmm, what times itself would give me 64? Eight times eight equals 64. So each side length is eight inches to give me an area of 64 square inches. To find the area of a rectangle, we can multiply the length times the width. This is a rectangle with a length of eight feet and a width of three feet. What is the area of the rectangle? I know that three times four, three times eight is 24. So the area is 24 square feet. It would take 24 square foot long tiles to fit inside the space. Let's try a backwards problem. What's the missing side length of the rectangle? The area is 21 square inches. So I'm thinking 21 equals something times seven. I know that three times seven equals 21, so the missing side is three inches. To summarize, I can find the perimeter and area of squares and rectangles with and without diagrams. When we want to know the distance around a plane figure, we are solving for the perimeter. And when we want to know the inside space of a plane figure, we are solving for the area. We use area and perimeter to solve real world problems. Now it's your turn to practice finding the area and perimeter. You may use a calculator to help with calculations if you'd like. Happy measuring!